The following lesson is a presentation of PrepLogic's Learn Smart video training. To find out how you can get unlimited access to our entire Learn Smart video training library, call 1-800-418-6789. Today, things like telecommuting are beginning to become much more of a reality as we get faster internet connections and better operating systems. Windows XP really ups the ante as far as telecommuting is concerned with a couple of new features, but you know what? All of the new features are based on the old features that we've had for quite some time. If you plan on telecommuting or if you need to connect to some sort of a remote network, you need to understand the concepts of dial-up networking and virtual private networks. Let's take a look at how Windows XP implements this. Now, no matter what you want to do, you're going to configure these connections in the Network Connections Control Panel. When you hop in there, you're going to choose the option to create a new connection, and a wizard will launch that will walk you through the entire process. One of the things that I really like about dial-up networking in Windows XP is that it gives you the ability to go in and configure per-connection network settings. So you can have protocols turned on or off, services turned on or off easily per connection that you're going to launch. So you don't have to go in and say, okay, this time I'm going to dial up to the internet. Let me turn this off, this off, this on. Okay, this time I'm connecting up to my office. Let me turn these on and this off. You can set up two different connections, and each one can be configured as needed to connect up to the remote end. The other thing about this, of course, your connection can be private or public on the machine. When you get in on a Windows XP box and you set up an internet connection, the last question it's going to ask you, or one of the last questions it'll ask you, is if you want to make this a private connection or if you want everybody on that computer to be able to use it. Now, as far as internet connectivity is concerned, I don't know where this comes into play unless you have one ISP and other people in your household have other ISPs, then it might make sense. But beyond that, you probably want to make most of your connections public so everybody on the computer can use them. One thing I would highly suggest, though, is that after you create your connection, go in and take a look at its settings because there's going to be a lot in there that you might need to set up. Especially if you're dialing up to your corporate office, you might want to take a look at your security options and be sure they're set up appropriately. Dial-up networking in Windows XP allows you to utilize a telephone line as basically a really long network cable. That's the concept here. What we're going to do is we're going to connect our computer over the telephones through modems up to a computer on the remote side and then just simply replace Ethernet with PPP or the point-to-point -point protocol. At that point in time, once it's set up and running, we have a network connection. It's a slow one, but it's a network connection nonetheless, and you can do internet browsing, you can actually do corporate networking stuff right across that link. Let's take a look at how we would configure a dial-up connection to the internet on my Windows XP machine. I'm going to come down to Start and hop up into the Control Panel. And in the Category view of Control Panel, I'm going to come select Network and Internet Connections. If you're running in classic view, you'll just go to network connections straight from there. In here, it gives me a couple of different tasks that I can accomplish. I'm going to pick set up or change your internet connection. Now, to me, this is not quite intuitive. If I choose that, I want it to pop me immediately into a wizard, but instead, it brings me into the connections tab of my internet control panel. From here now, I have to actually click on the setup button that will launch the new connection wizard. Inside here, I will now select next. And this brings me up to a dialog where I choose the connection type I want. Do I want to connect to the internet, connect to a network at my workplace? Do I want to set up a small home office network? I've got a lot of different choices. I'm going for a connect to the internet at this point in time, so I'll make sure that's chosen and select next. It comes up and asks how I'd like to do this. Do I want to choose from a list of internet service providers? I love this one. If I select this, it's going to go out and basically show me Microsoft's approved list of ISPs. If I already have an ISP, I want to set up my connection manually. So I'll choose this one and select Next. It now comes in and asks how I'm going to connect. Do I want to connect using a dial-up modem? Or look at this, Windows XP actually asks if I'd like to connect using a broadband connection, such as a cable modem or DSL that's going to require PPPoE, the point-to-point -point protocol over Ethernet. If you're using a DSL connection that requires that, Windows XP has that support built right in. Or do I want to connect using a broadband connection that's always on? I love this one. If you choose this and click on Next, it's going to come up and say, um, OK, idiot, we're done. That's about as far as it goes, because you don't have to really do anything else at that point. I'm going to choose Dial-Up Modem, however, because I've got to dial up to my ISP to connect. 
I'll choose next. It comes in and begins asking me some of the standard questions. It asks for my ISP name, so I'll put in my ISP. Select next. Asks for the phone number. I'll put in the phone number that I dial up to get connected to the internet. And now it asks for all of my connectivity information. What's my username? So I put all this information in that I require to connect to the internet. Remember, this is not your information required to connect to Windows XP. This is your ISP name and password. So you might need to call up your ISP and get this information. If you're like most of us and you put it into your computer about two years ago and forgot it, you'll probably have to call them up and get that information again. Now you get the choices to use this account name and password when anyone connects to the internet from this computer. This is what makes this a global ISP account for everybody who logs on to this machine. If you turn this off, each user needs to set up their own ISP connection individually. If you want to make this the default internet connection, and Windows XP also includes a component known as the internet connection firewall. Now this will stop some traffic from going through. I'm going to turn this off. That way, I'll be sure that I get good connectivity before I turn this on. If I have any connectivity problems, I don't want to be able to blame the internet connection firewall unless that's truly the issue. So I'm going to start with it off, be sure I've got good clean connectivity, and then I can turn it on later if necessary. All right, let's select next and move on. And that's it. It basically gives me an overview of what I've done. I can actually put a shortcut to this connection on my desktop so I can quickly click on it and get connected to the internet if I so choose. I'll select finish and that's it. Let's take a look at the shortcut that it created on my desktop. I'll close down my control panel here. And now I've got a shortcut over here to my ISP.